It has been 39 episodes of Family Daily and 88 days in 1988 since the release of Best Play Pro Yaku. And here we have Best Play Pro Yaku Sheen Data. What's the difference between the original release and this one? Well, the box has a sticker in the upper left hand corner saying Sheen Data. The cartridge label was reprinted and now says Sheen Data. And the stats for some players have been changed. Apparently what happened is that the chip shortage in 1988 prevented ASCII from manufacturing as many cartridges as they wanted, and so when they ran their second batch a few weeks later, they went ahead and updated it with current stats. It's a weird situation, and Famicom fans are divided on whether or not it counts as a separate release. Obviously, I count it separately since I'm doing an episode about it, and I count it separately because of the change in the packaging. To refresh your memory, Best Play Pro Yaku is a baseball management simulation game. The performance of your team is heavily dependent upon those statistics. And you can dig through your roster and look through everybody's abilities. In Best Play Pro Yaku, you're playing out a full 130 game season. And you're doing that for the entire league. You can set up which, if any, teams are human managed. Check out the schedule. And then play ball. The teams will play themselves with no intervention by you, though you'll probably want to make a few calls. You can tell the pitcher to walk a batter, for example, or let the runner know that you want them to steal a base if they can. But the players all have their own AI, and they won't necessarily do things the way that you want them to. A game takes about 10 to 15 minutes to play through, and really, you'll only need to intervene a few times during that. Some commands have to be entered from a pause screen, like switching out the pitcher, or letting your defense know if they should be playing close or far. But usually you're hitting something on the directional pad. When you're batting, up is bunt, right tells a runner to steal, down is to try to support stealing the base with the batter, and left is a sacrificial bunt. And while you're pitching, up lets the pitcher know that he should watch out for a steal, Left is to intentionally walk. Down is to pitch more aggressively, which has a higher chance of balls, but also a lower chance of the batter getting a hit. And right tells the pitcher to just do what they want. It's not a great interface, but there is something in the pause menu to show you what each direction does. Obviously it would take a long time to play a 130 game season, so you're able to save your progress to ASCII's turbo file device. The same one they offered for saving your wizardry characters. I don't see anyone these days really enjoying the best play pro Yaku games. You get them to check a box on your list, and that's the end of it. But they did have quite a bit of a following in Japan as the strategy-focused baseball game as opposed to the action-focused ones. And as far as I can tell, people at the time weren't even upset about the new data stuff. Best Play Pro Yaku Shin Data winds up being a weird artifact of the time.